If this video helps you out, remember to subscribe. Welcome to this full walkthrough, all achievements, all trophies of Full Throttle Remastered. This is available through Xbox Game Pass, and this is going to be a full walkthrough of the game, unlocking all of the achievements or trophies in around an hour. So as we start the game up here, you want to watch the entirety of the first cutscene in order to unlock your first achievement or trophy. Do not skip this cutscene, however for the rest of the game we're pretty much going to skip every other cutscene, but you have to watch this one. I'll be popping in and out throughout the video in order to help you out, and I will be leaving timestamps down below for each achievement or trophy. Eh, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> All right! Who's the guy that drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? Maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two-by-four. Hmm... An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> so who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some help with your sales pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We have come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service to you? You would be well compensated for your time, of course. Not interested. It's uh, fairly obvious that you could use the money. Listen. I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger! That does it! I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Excellent idea. And the doctor says he only has a few months to live. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the rot wheelers. The old man says it's the pole cats or nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. And that's your last word? That's it. Well, I'd like to make you just one final offer. <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his motorcycle. We'll have to tie up this little 200 pounds. Once we gain control, we don't want to do anything. Just sit on this screen and wait. It'll take about a minute or two before a screensaver will pop up, which shows a model of your motorcycle and your achievement or trophy will unlock for actually seeing this screen. Now that we've seen that, we can go ahead and jump out of the dumpster and begin trying to lick things. So basically the way that the controls work in this game is it's a point and click, you select something and then you can choose if you want to use your hand, your foot, or your mouth. And we need to try and lick 10 different objects. So we're going to try and lick everything that we can in this area, then we're going to move in front of the bar and try and lick a couple things there, and then just kick the door open into the bar and lick a couple more things inside the bar to get that achievement or trophy out of the way. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm 
I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. I'm not putting my lips on that. I'm not putting my lips on that. Now we need to get our keys from the bartender, and all we need to do here is select the bartender and then select our fist in order to get our keys from him. It might look better on your nose. What? The bar. <coughs> now don't mess around with... Now we need to win our first fight. So combat in this game is super simple, you just want to pull your bike up next to your enemy and then you can press the button in order to attack them. You will have different weapons later on in the game and we'll talk about that when we get there, but for now we just have our fist, so you just want to spam the attack button when you're next to him in order to defeat this guy. Someone's ambushing the bull cats? Oh heavens, whatever will we do? <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. Let's get down. Oh, don't give up now. So I skipped the cutscenes, which you can watch if you want, but now we're here in Moe's garage, and one of the first things we want to do is grab this photo off the wall, and this will unlock another achievement or trophy. Place he called the Mink Ranch. When he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died, but I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Then after looking at the photo, we want to go ahead and talk to Mo. And we're going to talk to her for all of the dialogue options. You need to exhaust all of them in order to unlock another achievement or trophy. You can skip through the conversation though as she's talking so that it doesn't take that long. Not to use it. What about you? Same. Then it This an author. You could call, but I don't have. Uh, I. Where'd you learn? I grew up work once. I mean, but so I. You live in this town? Eh, what's left? People up. Not a. I'm just bad. You see. How's it look? The front and someone I can't and let. I gotta get out of trouble with. Not a. Then what? My gang's in trouble. Okay. How'd you? They get. They're headed. I don't have any. Hey, I've been getting my. Well. Don't. Swear. Where am I? You. Where am I gonna f Well, then you can you run. How am I so I well, Where's the gas? Well, I have Actually, good. How's it look? Well, we need new. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know. 
Before leaving Moe's, we want to grab the hose as well as the empty gas can, and then we can head outside to access the map. Oh, good, you're not dead. On the map, we want to head up to this trailer park area, and we're going to talk to the guy that's behind the door at the trailer. But before doing that, make sure that you set down a save here, because sometimes the game glitches out and doesn't give you this achievement or trophy. Basically, we just want to go up to the door and start talking to this guy, Todd, and he's going to talk back to us, and you just need to keep talking to him until the achievement or trophy pops. Once it does, we can go ahead and kick down his door to get on inside. Yeah. Hey! I'm trying to do my own. I don't got time to waste on. This is a. You knock for a reason or you just nuts? Get a life, you loser. You knock for a reason or you just nuts? Hey, you loser. Once inside, you want to go ahead and open his refrigerator and grab the meat out of it. We'll need this for later. And we're also going to open his cabinet in order to grab a lockpick, which we'll use later again. Then you want to just hop onto the elevator to go downstairs and grab the torch on the table. This will automatically send us back to Moe's and we will get another achievement or trophy. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. At the water tower, we're going to notice that this door is locked right in front of us. Luckily, we grabbed that lock pick from earlier, so you can go ahead and use the lock pick to pick the lock and open this door. Before heading through, make sure that you pick up the lock off of the ground. Once inside, we want to go ahead and grab the ladder, and this is going to set an alarm off, and you want to run into the background in order to hide. So just go where I go, which is right back here, and then a little cutscene will play where Floyd is going to come over in his, like, flying vehicle. And from there, we'll be able to actually access his gas cap, use the hose and the gas can in order to siphon gas from his vehicle, and then we'll automatically head back to Moe's. down there in the yard. It's him. Get it. Where? Over there. Quick. You go right. Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? At the junkyard, we want to go ahead and use the lock that we picked up earlier in order to close this latch so that nobody can chase us out when it's time to leave, and then you can continue into the junkyard by using the rope to the right. Ah, 
junk. Once inside, we just want to hop down and continue to the right of the screen until we make it to where the dog is. From here, we want to go ahead and use the meat on one of these cars in order to lure the dog inside, and then we're going to go back a screen and head up onto the crane in order to pick up the car that the dog is in so that the dog cannot chase us. With the dog lifted up, we can head back to the left where we started, and we should find a wreck that we can search in order to find the forks that we need, and this will automatically send us back to Moe's once again. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you. What's this p I'm scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the... Now that our bike is fixed, we can technically leave this area, but before doing so, return to the gas tower and climb up the ladder again to trigger some cutscenes. We're going to skip through a couple of them until we get to the one where a guy is walking out of a bathroom. Back at the gas tower. Here go. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blow my gasket, I surely was... So I skip forward to this part of the cutscene, and we need to watch the rest of the cutscene from here until our achievement or trophy pops. With wheels that I love. Yeah. Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminating, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold! Come here and I'll demonstrate! It's got a camera! I'll get her! No! Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera! Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? 
Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Crawley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me, you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? With that achievement or trophy out of the way, we can go ahead and skip the rest of the cutscenes, and then we can continue back to Moe's, which will automatically do. This time, Moe isn't here. So we want to search through the debris in order to find that picture that we saw earlier, and then from here, we can actually finally leave the area and head back to the bar. Back's open. Hmm. Moe's... Here's Moe's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she... That's pretty... Before heading inside of the bar, you want to go around the side towards the dumpsters and you're going to talk to the dumpster to find somebody that's actually hiding in there and they will give you a fake ID for another achievement or trophy. Ben, no time to talk. You know, it stank in there, but I can't remember a better sleep. You gotta help me. Go find my... You got picture. Yeah. So you... Well, but I... They get... Take one... My career is riding the high. Oh, don't worry. I owe you. If Miranda's, that could be. M but then. Hey, kill it. What? Hey, it your see what see, haven't you? Once again, our top mouth dead at a rep of her visit police. No. With the road dead. We've been I should hey I you would just After talking to the bartender, we want to go ahead and watch the monitor by pushing up twice on the skull in order to use our eyes, and we're just going to keep watching the monitor until we've watched all of it in our achievement or trophy pops. Authorities are After watching the monitor enough, we want to go ahead and talk to Ernest, who's playing with his knife here, and we just want to select the first conversation option and just keep selecting it until he finally gives up and lets you play the knife game. Let me not. Let me show you. Not. Let me show you. Not. Let me show you. Only. Hmm. Oh yeah, you sure are good here. With that done, you want to go ahead and pull out the fake ID and use it on Ernest. This is going to trigger the end of this section and a bunch of cutscenes that we can go ahead and skip. What if they search the back and f After those cutscenes, we'll be here at the Mink Ranch and you want to head into this side building right here. 
This will bring us upstairs into a bedroom where we can look at some photos on the wall. And you want to look at the ones that are kind of towards the top of the wall in order to get the achievement or trophy to trigger. Then we're just going to search under the pillow to find a tire iron and we can use the tire iron on the chest that's at the edge of the bed and that will get us yet another achievement or trophy and move us forward from this area. junk and a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. Mo? Now that we've made it to where this truck has dumped some fertilizer onto the road, go ahead and pick up some of that fertilizer, we'll be using it later on. And then we want to use the tire iron on the different tires on the truck itself, so you'll automatically do this as long as you interact with one of them. And then finally we want to go to the back of the truck and kick it over so that it falls onto the road and dumps even more fertilizer down. Well, that's all of them. Can't be... With the fertilizer truck blocking half of the road, we want to hop back on our bike and head back towards the Mink Ranch. As you're driving that way, you'll have a bunch of options to take some different exits. Don't do that, just keep driving straight and eventually you'll make it back to the ranch and get a cutscene. So now you're getting chased from the ranch back towards the fertilizer truck. Once again, don't take any of the exits, just keep driving straight and make sure that you're hanging to the right side of the road so that you don't hit the fertilizer truck and the car that is chasing you is actually going to get knocked off the road by going through the fertilizer and you will get yet another achievement or trophy. From this pit stop we want to now go back to check out the car that crashed. So we're going to head back down this road once again and once again we'll have a bunch of exits. Don't take any of them, instead what we're waiting for is for a stop sign to pop up in the top middle of the screen. Once that does you want to go ahead and choose to take the stop so that you'll stop at the car crash. At the car crash, we want to go ahead and use our tire iron on the back panel of the car in order to rip up some of the wires in it, and then we can hop back on our bike and head back down the road, and we want to take whatever the first exit is that we find on the road. This exit will pop us onto a loop where we need to fight a bunch of different enemies, but before doing that, we'll come across Father Torque, 
who we can talk to. You want to make sure that you exhaust all of the options in order to talk to him for the entire conversation and unlock another achievement or trophy. Father Tor. I haven't seen you since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a... What are you doing? Well, we're ta So I thought... You're picking... That's what... Father... T ben, you catch... Any... Uh, nobody. They're not... I'm... The vote... The one just... It's a... What's... What they ha don't... How do they... Stop it up and... You know any way around? A rat? <laughs> it's miles, but smack. It blew. Who? Where? Cape. Where is the cape? So the end. Can't talk eat. Well, take it easy. Give me that. With the conversation done, we want to just follow this loop, don't take any of the exits, and we need to fight the enemies in a certain order. So our first enemy here is this red mohawk lady. Go ahead and switch your weapon to the fertilizer and attack her with the fertilizer. We will gain a chainsaw off of her, as well as an achievement or a trophy for beating her with the fertilizer. Now from here, we need to defeat the next enemy, who is this guy with a black mustache and beard. The one thing here in this section is that the game's RNG can be a little bit difficult about who spawns in, so right here we just beat that guy with our chainsaw in order to unlock a plank, but if you end up getting these guys in like a different order or whatever, you'll just lose the fight, fall off your bike and get back on, and continue the loop anyways, hoping that the right enemy spawns in. So from here, we now have this biker on a yellow bike, and we want to use our plank to defeat him in order to get some goggles that we'll use later on. Next you need to find this guy with a red shirt and like some body armor on, and you can use pretty much any weapon to go ahead and defeat him, and you will get a chain from him which we can use against the final biker that we need to defeat, the one with the turbo booster. So this guy, if you face him at any point without this chain, he is just going to turbo boost away from you and you won't even be able to fight him. But instead, just use your chain, you'll pull him right off, and you'll unlock his turbo booster. So now you have the turbo booster and the goggles. Go ahead and equip your goggles, and then you just want to wait for the prompt in the bottom left hand corner to say cave. And then you can go ahead and take the exit to the cave in order to unlock another achievement or trophy. Inside the cave you want to go ahead and grab this ramp and connect it to your bike and then take it back to the entrance of the cave and disconnect it from your bike. This will pop a bunch of different cutscenes which you can go ahead and skip and then we'll be back at that pit stop that we were at earlier in the game. I'm done with these boys. Now from here we want to just hop back onto our bike and instead of selecting the ramp we just want to select the arrow to the right so that we use our turbo booster to fly over the broken bridge and onto the other side.
It's a single hoverlift unit. Looks okay for an aftermarket part. Alright, I've modified my bike enough. Now that we're here at this massive factory, we want to head down this ramp and head to the gift shop that's down here. We're going to want to play with the joystick at the gift shop in order to realize that the toy car has no batteries. And then you want to look at the souvenirs that are behind the man in the stall in order to get him to turn around so you can steal the bunny. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't go out of range. Looks like it's getting weak. Oh, great. You killed the battery. Official Carly Motors merchandise. It's out of Come give our derby car a spin. Souvenirs to remind you of your special Smashatorium adventure. Bye, your kid. Excuse me, but are those shirts, uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. One hundred percent cotton. Oh. It's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. With the bunny, we want to head back to our bike, and then we'll be able to head to like the left corner of the map in order to enter the next area. The vultures hide. This area is a minefield and we want to go ahead and put the bunny down and let it get blown up by one of the mines. It will then drop a battery which we can go back to the gift shop and use on the toy car. If we don't got it, then it stinks. <laughs> Pat the bunny. You know you want to. That should put some life in. Now we can play with the toy car, and basically we want to head it all the way to the right so that the guy working the stand chases after it and leaves us alone at the gift stand. So head all the way to the right, and then when he enters the area, you want to very quickly head under these little turnstiles here so that he can't actually get the car back and stays over here. Hey, don't go in there! Now it's just me and the bunnies. With the gift shop wide open, we want to go ahead and grab the box of bunnies so that we'll have a bunch of them in order to make it through the minefield. We'll also get an achievement or trophy for doing this, and then we want to head back to that minefield. Minefield's been replanted. Tidy little vultures. Back at the minefield, I would recommend making a save here in case you use too many of the bunnies. You should only have to use about seven of them to make it across. So what we're going to do here is put down the box of bunnies somewhere back here so that we can grab all the bunnies after they come out of the box. You don't want any of them to get away here, so just make sure that you start picking them up as they start walking out, so that none of them get blown up yet. And then basically we're just going to use them and follow one at a time as they blow up to make our way across the minefield. Like I was saying, you should only have to use about seven of them to get across. If you use more than seven of them, you want to reload your save as we'll need some more bunnies in the future. I 
hate surprises. surprises. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah, that's the guy who killed my father. All right! Making across the minefield will trigger another cutscene. You can go ahead and skip until you make it to this area where you're being tortured and you'll have a couple of dialogue options that you need to choose. Go ahead and choose the exact same ones as I do in order to unlock another achievement or trophy. Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <clears throat> Let me go or else... Or else... I'll call you names. <laughs> like what? Diaper Dynamo. How? How'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about... <laughs> okay, so here we go. All right, folks. Next, we'll be in this demolition derby type thing, and you want to go ahead and attack the orange car. So, basically what we want to do is try and get this orange car to stop just next to this ramp over here to the left, so that we can jump on top of it and disable it, like so. So as you can see right there, the orange car has lined up perfectly for me, and I'm just going to jump right on top of it, and we'll get a little bit of a cutscene where he's basically saying that his car is broken, and then we can go ahead and start pushing him down towards the bottom of the map and then we want to push him along to the right until we get to the other ramp on the other side of the demolition derby area. Once we get to that ramp, we want to push him off of the ramp and jump on top of him once again. After some more cutscenes, we'll be outside of the car now and on fire. We want to run along this left side wall in order to set everything on fire, which will progress some more dialogue, and then we're going to need to wait for a couple more cutscenes before we can continue. Make a diversion. I am a diversion. No offense, but we need a bigger one. The bike is guarded. Who cares about... 
I guess the Avenger never heard of stop, drop, and roll, huh? He's the runner and the torch book. Well, this game is Once we're back in control again, the blue car will be trying to run us over. Just go ahead and avoid it, and then you'll automatically be put on top of this orange car. Step on top of the blue car, and they'll start driving around all erratically, trying to get you off. And eventually, whenever you feel like it, go ahead and jump off of the car and run into the fire in the bottom right-hand corner. They'll then drive into it, blowing up their car and getting you another achievement or trophy. You will need to watch this cutscene until their car explodes and the achievement or trophy pops, then you can just go ahead and skip ahead again. What happened? Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm, fun smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? After those cutscenes, we'll be back with Mo, and we'll have to have a conversation with her. Just go ahead and end the conversation as quickly as you can, and then you want to look at the parts that are on the ground. There's going to be a bunch of numbers, three of them will already be available to you, so just go ahead and look at them. And then the other three you need to uncover by moving some panels. So just follow along with what I do in order to progress forward. Hmm. Hmm. Here, take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. Now that we're back outside this arena factory thing, if you look just to the left and above where you are, you should get this arrow that lets you head on inside. Now from here, we want to wait for the little balls in the background as they were just doing right there, for all of their lines to stop moving so that there's a black square in the middle of all of them. And once that happens, we can go ahead and interact with this rock right here on the wall. Go ahead and kick it and this will open up a secret passage. Now that we're inside of Corley's secret office, instead of interacting with his desk, there's a little floor safe right here that we can interact with instead. There will be a code that we need to enter, so just go ahead and find the floor safe on the ground and go ahead and grab it, and then the code to enter is 154492. Some sort of card. A tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. In the next room we want to enter the MM door and we can go ahead and use the key card that we just picked up out of that floor safe to get in here. And then from here, once we're inside, we want to interact with the levers on the right. 
The first lever you want to push down to the bottom, so just interact with it once, and the second lever you want to push all the way up to the top, so go ahead and interact with it twice. This will get you another achievement or trophy. What you see before you right now is my vision for you. Then to progress the story, we want to head into the second room and we can use the photos from way earlier on in the story in order to expose what Ripburger has done. So go ahead and use them on this little kind of clipboard thing in the background in order to progress the story. Now, this next slide, I... Uh... Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I'd settle for just a little. So now we're pretty much at the end of the game. From here, we want to go ahead and grab the grill to open it, and then throw one of our bunnies inside from earlier in order to get another achievement or trophy. Then from here, we want to just go ahead and lift up the little flap that's above us here in order to block his view, and Rip Burger will use his cane in order to put it back down. Go ahead and grab the cane from him, and then you want to use the cane on the little motor here in order to get inside of the truck. Now that we're behind Rip Burger, we want to go ahead and use our tire iron on the rightmost cable here, and this will trigger a bunch more cutscenes until we're finally inside the truck. From inside, we just want to make our way up the ladder and just wait for this turret to stop shooting at you and you can continue up the ladder. And once you make it up, there's going to be a monitor that you can interact with with a bunch of options. Just follow along and choose the options that I do to trigger a bunch more cutscenes. Ben! Ben! Are you alive? Climb back here quick! After the cutscenes, you'll want to climb back into the driver's seat and interact with the monitor again. Go ahead and select the options that I do to unlock another achievement or trophy. I think you just killed a seagull! To finish the game, hop back into the driver's seat and use the monitor again, choosing the options that I choose in order to defeat Rip Burger without dying, and to complete the game and get two achievements or trophies, one for defeating Rip Burger without dying, and one for finishing the game. Now from here, the only thing that we still have to do is hop onto our bike to escape before this whole thing falls off the cliff. Wait, come back! We need your weight in the plane! I went ahead and cut them out, but you will need to watch the entirety of the credits to get another achievement or trophy, and then once that one pops, we want to actually dashboard or just close the game however you can, and then restart the game for our final achievement or trophy, and you will have all 1000 gamer score or all of the trophies in this game.
whenever I...